Let's go to the morgue. Yeah. Because right now it kind of hinges on was it just Make the sleeping move, pills or was there actual morphine in your system? Had a friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured yeah. we'd get more out of her that way. And we did. And Phelps. We'll make a vice cop oh no, don't turn him into a vice cop. Oh no. Phelps already has enough on his shoulders of being such a, a tightly wound dude. Yeah, let, let's let's take care of a a, a side whoop, side mission while we're on our way. Ah, the fatal plunge. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh, uh, why don't we ever get to resolve anything nicely? Need to get up there. Oh, this is bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, now we really need to get up there. Yep, go, go cool. Come on, buddy. Now we have a murderer on our hands. Before it was two, two goofus is fighting. Oh, that woman on the right looks familiar. I wonder, was she one of the other actresses? You killed him. Yeah, you really killed him. You saw what happened? That creep attacked me. I can't uh, watch you go around with drunk losers like that anymore, honey. What were you doing up here with him anyway? Yeah, she looks familiar. You deserve better. He invited me up to. Oh wait, Definitely. was she the no, the young star from the the case, uh, the traffic case? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, very loving. Yeah, obviously he he really cares about you. you. Get back here. Yeah, I think she she's the the starlet. Who lived above the bar? Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. See, I told you you would just have to buff it out. Roy, I told you, buddy. All right, let's get this guy. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, this was the, the bartender, right? It's no good. We need to get oh. closer. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, I definitely thought we were going to get a good hit there. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Yeah, these cars back then were not meant to take ramps. <laughs> that's, that's my professional automobile opinion. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bartender and the, the starlet. Well, that's neat. Come on. Dude, you can take a shot. Ah, oh, come on. That was a good hit. All right, we got his bumper pretty much knocked clean off. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road. Jeez. Okay, I, I'll give him. I'll give him props. He's a good driver. You know, the fact that he's driving a pickup and we're driving some kind of, kind of sports car. Whoa, jeez. Yeah, and he takes these side streets wildly. Can't take the shot from here, Cole. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Oh god, this chain link fence is so tough. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Go, go, go. Come on. We cannot lose him. Yeah, I think we're going to have to wait for Roy Ooh, to take the shot. Cuz otherwise we are absolutely cooked. All right. I've had less scrapes in a bumper car. Ooh. Yeah, Cole, shoot at the tires. Okay, your car is about to explode, buddy. I don't think you want me to. All right, where's he going? Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah, that took care of him. Let's hear a song from the. Yeah, there you go. Bag him and tag him. Dudley Lynch. Long time no see. I didn't mean for him to fall. You I swear to Christ, uh, why kid, would you I fight on a roof then? <laughs> he was taking advantage of me. Uh huh. Sure, buddy. Sure. It's out of my hands, Lynch. Claim self-defense and see if Miss Perry will testify on your behalf. Yeah, we we straight up saw you murder him. You know, I, I'd be interested to see how you guys got started fighting on a roof, but I'm, I'm sure there'll be some interesting testimony for that. Oh, I miss Bukowski. That was a good case. 
And look at that. Car as good as new. See, I told you, buddy. It would... Oh, I don't want to call you buddy either. Just thinking about Bukowski and get me in thinking about a good partner. Oh, actually, hold on. I do not want to drive back there. Yeah, you, you drive. drive. I need to go over the case yeah. notes. There we go. Let's head on over. Uh, poor woman. Yeah, it's interesting that her the the description that her coworker gave of her was so different. Hmm. Off to the morgue. Oh, do uh, you have anything to say to us? No. Every once in a while, the front desk has a neat little tidbit. Call. All Call. right. I have some information for you. Excellent. What do you got? You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. Mal is just so competent. Two sets of hands. So Love we have him. two killers. Okay. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose uh -huh. of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. Hey. We agree that she was murdered. He's yes, just vindication. I have something else to show you. Oh. What's All this? Right, Mal, what gives? The dead Who guy's the hell is this? LeBlanc, career huh. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with oh, a lump of two by four. So what? Okay. Riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket. Man. Pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, This Roy. morphine. You're listening, man. It's showing no up everywhere. Morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Wait. Scratch marks on his face. Oh. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death. No, 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 no. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. Yeah. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of you're our One of the killers. killers. Exactly. That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. That's a good connection. Man, Mal. Like, watching Mal work is like competency porn. He's just so good at his job. Uh, is there anything we can examine about the body? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, this guy's face definitely got remodeled. Yep, that's, that is, that is a good way to put it. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, okay. What do you got here? Hmm. Sorry, I don't play. The Honer Comet. I don't know if it's significant. Yeah. His wallet was empty. The only hmm. other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Oh, it's a harmonica? Huh. I mean, Carruthers. maybe a musician? Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. Okay. Hmm. We have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Whoa. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Man, Mal. there's just and stuff the being lead. thrown in our lap left, sure, right, Mal, and center. Thanks for the lead. Man, Roy, you should be happy. He's making our job easier. All right, I guess let's go check out the police station then. Pop. All right. Now, do we want... Oh, oh, it's right here. Oh, <laughs> I completely forgot that the morgue and the hospital are right next to each other. <laughs> okay. All right, so interview two. Arnett is in interview two, Phelps. Go uh, get whatever it is that's over... Chest. There's two. I thought it was over this way. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's over here. Interview... Someone ought to take him home. Two. There you are. Okay. Who are Phelps. you, buddy? This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. Okay. It's the least I could do. Huh. Terrible news about Julia. All right, so... Who... How did you know her? How well did you know Julia yeah. Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business. And okay. Julia occasionally modeled for me. Oh, this is the, the fiancé for her co-worker, right? But that's not true. No, 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 no. This is not true. But how, uh, how are we going to trap him? Uh, no, this is the, the guy who introduced. Hold on, no. Ah, uh, we don't have anything. So I guess we'll have to bad cop. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck-on-the-shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Okay, the yeah. This will remain private. Heather won't have to No, know. she won't have to know. Yes. Ugh. We had relations. Okay. All right, so who is this Mr. Henderson? Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Hmm. Again, he's evasive. Like, he won't look at us in the eye, but... What can we get him with? Can we, or do we have to bad cop him? Um, we have housekeeper statements, men's smoking jackets. Yeah. 
Probably the closest is her statement, right? But, again, how uh, we're not really trapping him other than we just think that he's lying. Okay, so I guess we'll accuse him. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. Yeah. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. Okay. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. Huh. No, he's from San Francisco. You're definitely full of it. No. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady yeah. that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia huh. wanted money. She always wanted money. Okay. She thought she could get some from this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement. Yeah, you think very she might have distinctive. Him to buy it for. Her? Maybe he did. Yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. Man, this guy is suspicious as hell. Okay, so who is this LeBlanc guy? Do you know anything about, Jimmy about him? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? Wait, 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 wait. How does he know that he's a harmonica player? Wait, do we have anything that we could trap him with? Uh, hold on. No, we don't even have the, oh, we don't have the harmonica, so I guess we'll have to try to bad cop him. So you yeah, that's the best we got. That yeah, would be involved in Julie Randall's murder. If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us. Oh, that I do not fashion. trust this guy. That's right. Yeah, okay. Swipe at me. Put him All right. We got another location we can go to. Some kind of traveling salesman. Oh. Once I got out of the core, I used my. You were in the Marines. Sure. I'm proud of it. Huh. Fighting six. You were in the 6th Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Were you? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple other This places. guy's full of that shit. Will be all for now, Henry. Yeah. You've been very helpful. Yeah, I think this guy is trying to pretend that he was in the military. Yeah. That son of a bitch was never in the no. Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Oh, okay. We're going to tail him. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on uh, to the counselor? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass uh, it on. I'm not sure if the, I wonder if this guy is the, the murderer. And find out who was his yeah. last arresting officer. Oh. Have him get in touch via KGPL. When I wonder if Julia was blackmailing this guy. With that information. Now that he's engaged. Yeah, I don't know. He's in that car at the lights. Oh, yeah. It's a spiffy looking car. Man, he is quick. He was squirming like a worm in there. Yeah, he was. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. No, I can't imagine Cole being too happy about that. Considering it seems like whatever happened to Cole in the war has deeply traumatized him. Yeah, this guy is so full of garbage. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means. Oh, Could we're keeping a pretty low profile. Like to be a better liar. Yeah. Arnett seems like a practice liar, but apparently not good enough. Hmm. Yeah, but the question is, where is he going to? Because it seems like my my guess is that maybe Julia was blackmailing him. He was like, "Okay, that's not happening anymore. I'm gonna murder you, murder the accomplice in the in in that case, and then pretend that like he doesn't really know her that well." Yeah, it's a little fishy. I'm not sure exactly where he's headed off to. Because it seems like he would have tied up his loose end unless maybe there was another party in all of this. Yeah. Either way, Cole and Roy are on the case. Roy doesn't really care that much, but Cole picks up the slack by giving 150%. Man, he is motoring too. Oh, this is such good tailing music. Yeah, this is music to snoop to. Oh, come on, you saw me making that move. God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. I mean, they always are. We look like a couple sleazeballs in this car. It's a head turner. 
All right, taking another Louie here. Yeah, he really motors down these straightaways. That idiot never stepped foot in Okinawa. No, that is for sure. But the question is, I guess other than just like, you know, stolen valor or whatever, why the hell did, would he make up such a very specific lie? To people who could very easily find that out. Like, that's not hard information to find. Oh, okay. Pulling over. All right. What are you up to on this side of town? Huh. Used, used, uh, furniture? What is that? He needs money and fast. Money and fast, what does it say? It's like a hawk shop? Oh, that is quite a wad. I'll stick with him. Yeah. See how he intends to spend the money. Uh-huh. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. Yeah. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Okay. Yeah, what the hell did he what 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 what, what would he have pawned? And so urgently, too. Okay. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Okay, I mean, we can see him very easily. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nope, nobody back here. The one just staring at a wall like a goddamn psychopath. Ben, can't risk losing the trail. Yeah, no, just strolling. Just strolling. I'm surprised this guy doesn't want to arrest us. Okay. Just gonna hang out here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Tram car went a little haywire there. Maybe that's the one that we knocked off the rails earlier. Alright, broke the line of sight. Oh, nice. Oh, you got that nice uh, canned weed. Gotta get closer. Fresh off the vine. Fresh off the tree, the bush. Okay, nice. Alright, round of the corner. Good for us, good for us. Alright, where the hell is he? Huh. It's right around here. Hmm. I want to keep a low profile since we're so close to him. Travel company. Move in. At risk of Interesting. Trying to skip town, are we? Maybe go to a non extradition country? Hmm. How does Geneva sound this kind right, time of year? One way ticket, please. One Next way. Adults. That would be one day from now. Huh. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. Interesting. So he's trying to get out of the country. Mm hmm hmm. All right. Now Cole needs to find this out. The man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir. To Mexico City tomorrow night. If you okay. hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. Yeah. You didn't see us. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City. <laughs> yeah, right. not the most That's innocent good. thing to do right after a, a friend has been murdered. Oh. Oh. My God. oh. It's Fabergé. Yeah. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. Yeah. That is nice. The guy who owned nice. the joint thought it was worth at least ten large for a cigarette case. Our yeah, that thing is nice. Clams. Okay. Oh. Okay, who is this to and from? Uh, dearest Beverly, with love and affection, always. T? J? Hard to, hard to tell. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. So how did he get a hold of that? That is like no, no small antique. Oh no no! What do you want? I 
Oh, I would like that. I would like to hang out with them more. Roger, Thank KGPL, you. KGPL, 11K, on route. Oh, phone booth. That's what we want. All right. Escape from the loop. And let's see. What are we looking up here? Huh. Operator, give me R and I. Yeah. What did, what did we find out here? Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Uh -huh. How could I help Detective? Yeah, what are we looking for here? Any luck with the arrest oh, record check on right. Jimmy LeBlanc? Oh, right, Jimmy LeBlanc. Yeah, yes, yeah. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Knife Beat okay. Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. Good to know. All right, so we have to meet with the uh, the patrolman who booked him last. So why don't we why don't we go there next? Yeah, Hollywood Ninth Beat. A one way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking. As yeah, guilty as a that's dog about as guilty as one shit. could look. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. Mm. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. Uh, yeah, my my current bet is that maybe Julia was blackmailing him with the knowledge that they had been together before they were married. Maybe that would have soured the engagement, and maybe I don't know. Maybe the coworker comes from a wealthy family. I don't know. There's there's a lot of question marks that I'm not sure because the motive doesn't seem super duper clear. Oh, well there you are. Come on, let's give him a hand. Yeah. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Run, run, run. Oh, Phelps is so good at running. Boys, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Come on. All right, Roy's going after the one in the alley. Hopefully we can catch this guy ourselves. Man, they run so fast. Come on. Oh, there's a lot of them. Never mind. All right. And we got him. Get him by the feeties. Incapacitate via feet shot. <laughs> you know, the, the foot shot is really the new head shot. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Oh, jeez. You guys are way too excited about using corporal punishment. Thanks. No problem, buddy. Armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse. Yeah, yeah, that he brought Bad a crew. They're all yours now. I mean, thankfully we, we showed up because you might Ever be heard dead. Of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc. Sure. We nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. Okay. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. Hmm. He got four years. I miss his partner though. Wait, his partner? His partner. Big guy. Oh. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out of plate glass a window. Partner, you say? Out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. And got away. I would have had him, oh. except for LeBlanc yelling, "Run for it!" Maybe Willie. that's the real blackmail. An acrobat of some sort. Oh. More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Interesting. Thanks. You've been a big help. Oh. You have done too badly yourself. I wonder if the blackmail is about the fact that. Maybe Julia knew that that guy was like, like, hold on, what's his name exactly? Yeah, Henry Arnett is in fact not Henry Arnett and that he was the partner of this Willie guy. Hmm. Maybe that's why she, she was murdered. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? I think maybe. A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up yep. LeBlanc's skull. Uh huh. Could be. could be. Yeah, it could be, or it could be unrelated. It could be maybe just that uh, Henry hired the two of them to take care of her, and things went sour afterwards. Yeah. Have to see. Either way, let's go back to the station and talk to uh, Rusty and Bukowski. 